If you play any game for a long period of time, you expect your character to grow. You expect your character to progress and learn new things as you go about the world. And that's exactly what we do in Avatar Legends. We level up as we play the games. But how do we level up? Well, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how we level up in Avatar Legends. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and if you like this content, be sure to click that subscribe button so you can see more Avatar Legends stuff. With that being said, let's get into how we do it. Leveling up in Avatar Legends is really, really easy. On the back side of your sheet, in the bottom left corner, there's gonna be these boxes labeled growth. There are four boxes that you fill in. Now you fill those in with experience. Well, how do you get experience? On page 42 of the Quick Start Guide, you're gonna have your basic moves. In the bottom right of that section, there's gonna be growth questions that you get to ask yourself at the end of each session, or at DM's discretion, depends on how you wanna do it. It could be at the end of each mission, could be at the end of a session, or it could be at the end of an arc. It's up to the DM, but the game suggests that you do it at the end of each session so you can have a consistent growth base. Now there are three questions that everybody gets to ask themselves, and then there's one question that's specific to each playbook. Now your character specific question is gonna be right below your growth track on the bottom left of your playbook. Now the questions everybody gets to answer are, first, did you learn something challenging, exciting, or complicated about the world? Second is, did you defeat a challenging threat or solve a community problem? And third is, did you guide a companion towards balance, or did you end the session in your center of balance. And if you answered yes to any of those questions, you mark one XP for every single one of those that you marked yes to. And then you get to answer your question that's dedicated to your playbook. Now for my guardian sheet I have here, the question is at the end of each session, answer this question. Did you do that? Yes, you get an XP, fantastic. Now, the guardian specific sheet question is, did you pursue a goal or desire of your own outside of protecting others? What is something that you want as a character that you pursued? And if you did, then you get an XP. If you didn't, then you don't get one. Now me personally, I don't exactly like this way of doing experience. In other Power by the Apocalypse games, you get experience if you roll a six or below. If you roll a fail, you get experience because you're learning from that experience. Me personally, I'm bringing that mechanic forward from these other games into Avatar Legends. I feel like that just allows the characters in the game to kind of grow as they learn and as they fail things, not just as they succeed Seed or complete their goals, but as they fail, they still learn things. But what exactly do you get if you do level up? Well, if you level up in Avatar Legends, you get to take a growth advancement. This isn't like D&D where you have 20 levels that you get to go through. You have very specific things that you can choose to take, and you can also choose to not take some things. It depends on how you want to do your character. After you fill up your growth track, you get to select one of the following from this list, and then your growth track goes back to zero and you get to fill it up again. That's how you kind of keep progressing your character, and after you fill it up completely, your character's kind of maxed out, but here's what you can actually do with your experience and with your growth. You can take a new move from your playbook up to two times, so you can take every move that your playbook can actually offer. You can take a new move from somebody else's playbook, so you can learn a move that one of your friends can do or somebody that you've seen can do. So you can have a total of up to six unique playbook moves on your character sheet at any given moment. You can raise one of your stats by plus one. There's no restriction on which stat you can choose, but you cannot raise a stat above a plus two. You're capped out at plus two, and only certain class features let you go to plus three, like the Guardian's Furrowed Brow. You you can shift your center of balance one step, either to the left principle or the right principle, and you can do that up to a maximum of two times. So your center of balance can only ever sit in a plus two spot. And then my personal favorite is you can unlock your moment of balance. Now the moment of balance is a special move. It's your ultimate move basically, and you can only do it whenever you're at your perfect center of balance and you've unlocked it. And after you use it that one time, you have to use your growth advancement to unlock it again. And you can only ever use it two times, so be sure you use them wisely. And to explain the moment of balance real quick, I'm just gonna read from the Guardian. You swore to protect the people you care about, but balance is about finding your own place in the world as well. You know what you're capable of accomplishing and you step up to show the world your unique strength. Tell the GM how you put your own life on the line to defeat a villain or danger that seems unstoppable. And every playbook has their own moment of balance that's unique to them. Much like their own growth questions unique to them, so is the moment of balance. You get to choose your playbook at the start of the game, so the moment of balance is something you might want to consider whenever you're thinking about it. So technically speaking, if you wanted to max out your character, if you wanted to take every single growth advancement possible to make your character as strong as humanly possible, you would need to level up approximately 13 times, maxing out every stat, taking every move that you're allowed to, two from your playbook, two from another, taking two balance shifts left or right, and then two moments of balances. So that's 13 level ups total to max out a character, and at that point, if your character goes that long, if your character does not retire by that point, you earn a very special final form you get to retire your character. No, I mean, it's whatever you guys want to do. You can retire the character at that point, or you could keep playing with it. If the entire party is at super max level, basically, then that's something that you and your GM can go play through. You can be heroes of the world that's done so many amazing things, or you could retire your characters. You could have them become trainers to help train the new generation, and you play one of their students. There's no wrong way to play your character at that point. It's just however they would respond and however your party wants to do things. It's my personal opinion that after a character's reached the end of their line, after they've done everything they possibly could, 
that's when it's a good time to retire them. If they've beaten their foes, if they've distorted their goals, if they've done everything that they've set out to do, that's the time to kind of start a new person. That's time to make a new character and make a new story. But that's just my opinion on how we should handle characters. But if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy Avatar Legends, be sure to click that subscribe button and that little bell icon down below to get notified for video uploads. I have a card showing up somewhere around here and there might be a little square YouTube thing that's gonna show up here in a minute that's gonna have a playlist for you to click on, which is gonna be full of Avatar Legends videos that might help you out. And with that being said, I wanna give a massive shout out to my patrons. Thank you all, you guys are the reason I'm able to do this. And a massive special thank you and shout out to my top tier patrons, Amaldine Shepard, Corey H, Rutana, Dark Cerberus, Ethan Hunley, Connor Kendall, and Evan A. Thank you for supporting me and this channel. All you patrons are the reason I'm able to do these things. So thank you all so much. And if you want some extra behind the scenes content, if you want these videos a day early, then you should check out the patron in my description down below. Otherwise, I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Later, everyone.